Hello guys, TM here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Nova Drift, which is a roguelike arcade shooter. Now before getting to the review, I quickly want to mention that I was given a review copy in order to make this video. However, my opinion will still remain objective in order to further improve the game and bring awareness to my audience. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the review. When we enter the game, we are able to choose from two type of modes. The first is an endless mode. This mode contains unlimited amount of waves that we have to survive. The second mode is metamorphosis. This is similar to a roguelike where we are able to obtain mods that have pros and cons. There are more additional modes coming into the future. Some of them are draft, boss rush and daily challenges. We are also able to activate challenges that give bonus EXP and score multipliers. These challenges are danger zone, enemy territory, elite enemy, hostile universe, nemesis and mayhem. Once we choose our mode, the wave starts and enemies start to appear. I find the large amount of enemies to be very enjoyable as each of them tackle the player with a difficult challenge. Some of these are laser beams, homing missiles, mines, rockets, barrages of bullets and many more. As the player tries to avoid these attacks, meteorites and rocks start to flow and damage the player if interacted. The player is able to destroy these rocks in order to move more freely in the stage. As we defeat enemies, we gain EXP. Once we level up, we are able to choose from a wide variety of different upgrades. These upgrades are split into different categories. These are weapons, shields, ships, mods, wild mods and super mods. This is my favourite part of the game as there are a ridiculous amount of upgrades that each have their own unique attributes that are able to synergize with other upgrades. Once the player's ship gets destroyed, they are then able to put up their score on the leaderboard and level up. With each new level gained, the player is able to unlock new upgrades and challenges. Through battling these enemies, special events start to occur. An example is shooting stars that travel through the screen and deal a tremendous amount of damage to anything in this path, or a black hole that absorbs all attacks, rocks, enemies and ourselves if we go close to it. I find this quite enjoyable as it adds a bit of variety to the gameplay and makes things a lot more exciting when in battle. After a certain amount of waves, a boss arrives that we must battle. I really like the bosses that each of them have a unique set of attacks and movement patterns that the player must overcome. After playing through the game, I felt like it should have been a twin stick shooter as it was extremely awkward for me to move and shoot the same direction I'm looking at. This made battles in high waves very difficult as my movement and opportunity of attacks felt very restricted. The visuals of Nova Drift was one of my favourite parts of the game as each upgrade and enemy felt extremely unique with their vibrant colours. I also loved the designs of each attack as they made replayability a lot more enjoyable and didn't feel boring. In conclusion, I found Nova Drift a must play game as I absolutely love the upgrades, colour palette and enemy design. However, I do think the controls need further improving. I will be giving Nova Drift a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you are interested in the game or want to check it out, I have a link in the description to his Steam page. I hope you liked my review and be sure to expect more coming. I'll see you guys in the next video. TM out.